This is 2001 Space Odyssey, 2001 dot dot a Space Odyssey. I need to make sure I get it right. So this one came third in the space poll. Uh, Apollo 13 was first, Martian was second, and this one was third. And I said I was only going to do it if we hit 3,000 likes in 24 hours, and we did. So that is what we're doing today. And I'm very, very worried about it because I have heard so many people say that it is not an easy movie to follow. Also, it's a Stanley Kubrick movie, and I have a love-hate relationship with Stan because he did Full Metal Jacket and The Shining, which I loved. Doctor Strange Love, not so much. <laughs> I tried and I watched it and the whole way through I was pretty much just like, but it, I would love to watch it again because I keep remembering bits of it that were very, very funny. You know when you're just like going about normal life and, and something pops in your head and then you're like, oh yeah, where did I see that? Oh, it's from that movie. Well, that's what happens now and again. I, like something will pop in my head and I'm like, wait, where where did I see that? And it's Doctor Strange Love. So I, I definitely need to see it again. Although I couldn't follow it the first time. I think I must have been in a bad mood. Let's do our big fat shout out to Calico Jack, Wreath35, Nate Wilson, Mike Philippi, Len Anaquad, Eric Twice, Ethan Furl, Wayne Kreika, Liam Christie, Robert Inman, Rob Jones, Alonso Torres, Bill Bryant, Thomas Ammon, 1000th Ghost, Roger Freeman, Lee Pittman and Eric Bonham. If you like this video please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning to say you haven't already then please subscribe, also comment, post notifications, check out Patreon, do all those things to make the channel grow and I love forever. And I think that's us ready to start. I am nervous but I'm ready. I'm good to go. 2001 A Space Odyssey on play. Is this actually playing or what? Oh it is. We must be in space already. I can't see anything. If I'm supposed to see something, I can't see anything right now. I'm thinking this is what it would feel like to be stuck in space and just like floating around, but you would see like stars and stuff. So I don't know what's happening here. I'm so confused. <laughs> is this meant to be just a black screen? Please help. Are you kidding me? It wasn't even part of the movie. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> God damn it. It's so dramatic. I like it. What planet was I looking at there? Because it did not look like Earth. This is very nice, but there's not a whole lot going on. I need to know which planet we're on and where about on the planet, if it's Earth. I'm getting planet of the... Wait, that's a, that's a man. How can it be the dawn of man if that's a man? Oh, it's a monkey. What are those? What is that? A boar? If that's a boar slash pig, I know a story about them. Oh, I don't think it is because their snouts are too weird looking. That one, that one's thing is hanging. I can see its thing. I think it is a pig. Apparently, apparently you can put a domesticated pig into the wild and within like two months, it turns into a wild boar. Oh, that was a bit savage for the first like 30 seconds of the movie. Was that a man in a monkey suit or was that real? It's men in monkey suits. Which is weird because I was going to say that it was given Planet the Apes vibes. Or did I say that? <laughs> Sometimes I'm not sure if I've said something or just thought I said it. 100% men in monkey suits. A poor man had to wrestle that um, ch cheetah. Or was that a cheetah? Leopard. Some kind of big cat. <laughs> We're wait to have a monkey fight. Monkey war. Monkey war. <laughs> Cute. Oh, I'm so confused. Why are we not in space? 
<laughs> I got the wrong... No, I haven't got the wrong movie. The title came up. I want to see how man was invented. That's a, that's a cheetah, is it? Yeah. Jaguar. I don't know. I don't know my big cats. Oh my god. If this goes the way I think it's going to go, then this is my granny's theory. And she said, she said this all along. The aliens came to Earth, bred with the monkeys, and that's how we are here. And I think that might happen right now, possibly. Let's find out. Here's the here's the spaceship. It's coming. Oh, there's a box. Oh, what's the box for? Oh, I've seen this. I've seen this multiple times in different things. And so is that where this is from? Most recently in the Barbie movie. I always wondered what it was from and what it meant. <laughs> There's a box. It's got Barbie inside it. <laughs> it's like, it's so smooth. <laughs> Someone open it. Wait, did it come up or did it come down? <laughs> I missed it, damn it. <laughs> Got it. Got it that time. What did what did he just realise he could do there? Oh, he realised he could beat up the pig and eat it. Nice. And he cook you some bacon. Well, what the hell have they been eating this whole time then? Oh yeah, get the marrow out of there. It's good stuff. What if they if they just been eating like plants and things? Did that box give them intelligence? Yeah, go over and beat up one of them. <laughs> Do it. Be with the bone. Then they'll never come back. We've killed him. I meant just scare him away. Oh my god, he's still beating him in the background. <laughs> Jesus. I think this is a Simpsons episode when Homer goes to space. Does Homer go to space? <laughs> I haven't watched The Simpsons in so long, but I'm pretty sure this is one of them. I was going to give it best movie ever at the very start if the aliens came and did funky things with the monkeys and <laughs> made the men. But it was just a box. And I don't know what the box did. It must have made them intelligent somehow. So we've, we saw the dawn of men, and now we are very, very far on and more advanced men. Or maybe this is like the next day. Maybe that box did something very special. That's amazing, by the way. How cool does that look? I love it. I would love to go to space. Oh, is this, is this inside the Ferris wheel thing? Some people are upside down and on their side. That would, oh, I don't suppose it would matter in space. Especially if you're twirling around like that. Maybe they don't even feel it. Moon, American Floyd, Haywood R. Ah. Thank you. You are cleared through voice print identification. Awesome. Oh, wait a minute. Picture a phone. phone calls. You go on ahead to the restaurant and meet you there. Right. When was this made? In the 60s? Pretty spot on. Wow. I love that. That's so freaking cool. <laughs> so are you from Earth? Or is there more planets that have people on them? Then I'll try to telephone again tomorrow. Will you tell her that? Yeah. Okay, sweetheart. Oh, she's so bloody cute. All right. Bye-bye. Happy birthday. <laughs> you can just tell she was so chuffed to be able to get all her lines right. <laughs> Why is he so important that he needs to be travelling on his daughter's birthday? No, if you don't mind, I'll just sit with you a few minutes and then I must be off. Are you quite sure? Uh, quite sure, thank you. He's suspicious. He did a finger thing like that. 
Perhaps you can clear up the great big mystery about what has been going on up there. Mystery. Ooh. I like a mystery. Well, it's just that for the past uh, two weeks, some extremely odd things have been happening. At Ooh, Cleves. really? Further the base, all you can get is a recording which repeats that the phone lines are temporarily out of order. Ah. Probably having some trouble with their equipment or something like that. Yes. Everything so white and red. Well, that does sound odd. Yes, yes. yes I'm afraid there's going to be a bit of a row about it. It's alien. Aliens happening all over again. Quite a serious epidemic has broken out at Cleves. Something apparently of an unknown origin. Right. Zombies? Zombie aliens? As I said, I'm out of liberty to discuss it. Maybe we'll wait and see what he finds first. Well, goodbye, Elena. Pleasure meeting you all. Dr. Schmieslub? Oh, you do remember his name? Dr. Clavius, Dr. Floyd, the very best of luck to you. Oh, thank you. I would never remember any of their names. I'm so bad with names. <laughs> Someone could introduce me and like literally straight away I forgot their name. Whoa. Oh, is that their food? Yeah. Bring back the boars. <laughs> I'd even eat a monkey over here. <laughs> What's with the helmets? Are the heavy helmets to keep them down? Oh, God, that's disgusting. I would rather starve. It's heavy helmets to keep them down and then they've got the grip on the feet to keep them on the <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, what? Oh wait, but if it was a he if even if it is a heavy helmet, it's not gonna do anything. I'm so confused. <laughs> Explain what the mushroom head is. <laughs> that was a lot of instructions. <laughs> you need to read them all so that your poop doesn't go flying. That's beautiful. Oh, this is them landing on the planet that's um, had an epidemic and they haven't been able to contact anyone in 10, 10 days? Did she say 10 days? Darth Vader could easily be on that ship and I would not be surprised. Ooh. <laughs> this is pretty awesome for the 60s. Although I watched The Invisible Man the other day and that's a 30s and I was like totally shocked, totally impressed. If they can do it in the 30s, they can do it in the 60s. This is the kind of things that I see in my dreams. Suspension. <laughs> and it's even more so like a dream because nobody's talking. It's just visuals. I found this cover story personally embarrassing myself. However, I accept the need for absolute secrecy in this. For what What reason? What's going on? The purpose of my visit here is to gather additional facts and opinions on the situation. The situation being... Recommending when and how the news should eventually be announced. The news being... To give me your views and opinions in private, if you like. I'd be only too happy to include them in my report. Your report will say... Tell me what it is. Council has requested that formal security oaths be obtained in writing from everyone who has any knowledge of this event. What's the event? I don't like not knowing. I think we ought to get on with the briefing. Uh, thank you, Dr. Floyd. Thank you. Right, but what's happened here? Aliens. Must be aliens. Or they found another box. There's another box. I like how they've done this movie, it's shot very well. It's very beautiful. Yeah, I know what that zipper's for. <laughs> oh, what do we got? You name it. I don't want that juice food. Give them proper food. Chicken? Something like that. Tastes the same anyway. Chicken? <laughs> Square chicken? They look pretty good. Oh, oh they're getting better at it all the time. Sandwich actual sandwich i thought it was like 
chunks of chicken. Well, it's a step up from the juice stuff. Have you seen these yet? No. Well, yeah, have a look at them. Here's what started the whole thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When we first found it, we thought it might be an upcrop of magnetic rock, but all the geological evidence was against it. And it's aliens, yeah. It hasn't been covered up by natural erosion or other forces. It seems to have been deliberately covered buried. Covered up by the aliens. Yes, we're going to see some aliens. Well, how about a little coffee? Oh, oh great. Good idea. Mm, yeah. Of course, you have any idea what the damn thing is, huh? No, nope. the only thing we're sure of is it was buried four million years ago. Four million years ago. I want to see multiple planets in the sky, like Star Wars. Or Firefly. I think they did it too. It's a little bit boring in bits, just a little bit, but it's there's lots to look at, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, I don't like this music. No, 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 no way. I don't like that. I am petrified. Please, I really don't like that music. What is the box? I told you. Told you. So it's going to make all the guys more intelligent. Or might do the opposite. So is this the original box and we're on Earth? Or is this a different one that was placed on a different planet? Touch it, it's smooth. Now you're the intelligent monkey. I think it's come up. I think it's not fell into the, onto the ground. It's came up from under the ground. Ah, oh, my ear holes. I know, if you find bones beside it, then that means that we're on Earth. Jupiter. 18 months? Right, who is the guy that touched it? The one that touched it is now going to be more advanced. It'll have been Dr. Floyd. Usually it comes in from the right. <laughs> so this is new. It's a new angle. It looked like a skull with a spine and then a pelvis <laughs> at the end of it. I, I've almost fallen asleep. <laughs> Not, not because it's shit or because it's a boring movie, but just for the whirling. Maybe I'm hypnotised now. It's crazy that they can just walk like wherever. You could use... Imagine that. You could use your ceiling space. How much more room would you have? Lots. Three weeks ago, the American spacecraft Discovery 1 left on its half-billion-mile voyage to Jupiter. What on earth is wrong with your fork? The fork did not need to change. Men have been put into hibernation before departure. Well, this was done in order to achieve the maximum conservation of our life support capability. All right, that's it. This is, this is a point that I'm very confused now. <laughs> very, very, very confused. HAL 9000 computer, which can reproduce, though some experts still prefer to use the word mimic. <sighs> I thought he was just going to finish there that he can reproduce. <laughs> that would be awesome. Robot babies. No 9000 computer has ever made a mistake or distorted information. For now. Any practical definition of the words, foolproof and incapable of error. You've just jinxed it. I have a stimulating relationship with Dr. Poole and Dr. Bowman. Oh, stimulating, eh? Capable of emotional responses. For example, when I asked him about his abilities. This is quite nice, watching them eating and <laughs> I like it. This is very soothing. But as to whether or not he has real feelings is something I don't think anyone can truthfully answer. Yes, robots have real feelings. I just answered it for you. Look, head, spine, pelvis. That's where they got that idea from. Knight takes bishop, mate. Yeah, it looks like you're right. Thank you for a very enjoyable game. Enjoyable. Start again. I'll do it better. So did it say why he's not in uh, hibernation? And the rest are. Is he, is he keep an eye on everyone? I thought that's what Hal was doing. Oh, not too bad. Have you been doing some more work? A few sketches. May I see them? I don't like his voice. It's too creepy. 
<laughs> That's a very nice rendering, Dave. I think you've improved a great deal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. During the past few weeks, I've wondered whether you might be having some second thoughts about the mission. Perhaps I'm just projecting my own concern about it. Or you're sensing it, because you're because you're a special robot. That there are some extremely odd things about this mission. Aha. Uh -huh. You'll agree there's some truth in what I say. What's the mission? What are you guys doing? Rumors about something being dug up on the moon. I never gave these stories much credence. Wait, the box was on the moon? I thought it was on another planet. I didn't think it was on the moon with all the craters and stuff. Help. Someone help me. I've just picked up a fault in the AE-35 unit. Is it still within operational limits right now? Yes. What's, what's it do? Bring it in, but first I'd like to go over this with Frank and get on a mission control. Let me have the hard copy on it, please. What does that thing do? Why are you two not hibernating? And what's your mission? What happened to the guys that found the box? Uh, Roger, your plan to go EVA and replace Alpha Echo, a 3-5 unit, prior to failure. They're going to make you build something like an Apollo 13 to fix it. Depends how bad it is. I don't know what that thing does. I quite like the sound from breathing in my ear. <laughs> I feel very chilled watching this. I feel like this is the kind of movie that you need to watch when you're like on psychedelics. <laughs> Eat some mushrooms and watch this movie. Imagine a time in life when everything is in space. Like you're not even on planets anymore, you're just living in space. Wait, is this meant to be... <laughs> I've just realised. Is this meant to be 2001? It can't be. In the 60s, this is what they thought it was going to be like in 2001. No way. No way. 2001 must mean something else. That's very risky when you haven't... You're not tethered to your thing. How do you get back to it safely? What happens if you float away in the wrong direction? I bet people have sex to this movie. <laughs> it's definitely a sex movie. <laughs> Don't ask, it just is. Know what I'm talking about. Uh, I like this. I like all of this. He looks like someone that I think was in... I think he was in EastEnders. I'm going to find him and I'll show you. I'll find him at the end. I would recommend that we put the unit back in operation and let it fail. Why? We can certainly afford to be out of communication for the short time it will take to replace it. Hal's up to something. Don't trust him. He's being sneaky. I thought you had a spare. I thought you took a new one with him to replace it. We are skeptical ourselves and we are running cross-checking routines to determine reliability of this conclusion. Am I right? Is, is Hal being sneaky? He's up to no good. Robots, I'm telling you, they have feelings. Well, I don't think there is any question about it. It can only be attributable to human error. No. N -n 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 -n. None whatsoever, Frank. The 9000 series has a perfect operational record. I've seen Wally. I know what you're up to. Quite honestly, I wouldn't worry myself about that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I would. Can you shut him down? I'm having a bit of trouble with my transmitter and seat pod. I wonder if you'd come down and take a look at it with me. See you later, huh? He'll hear you, you know. He hears everything. There's no point sneaking away. Hal knows. <laughs> He's watching you. He's going to kill you both. Rotate the pod, please, Hal. Rotate the pod, please, Hal. Oh, I can't hear you. Right now, tell him. Tell him. Rotate the pod, please, Hal. I'm sure we're okay. Well. Or he's doing it deliberately so that he can listen to you. You know, of course, though, he's right about the 9000 series having a perfect operational record. Unfortunately, that sounds a little like famous last words. Yeah, I agree. Still, I can't think of a good reason not to put back the number one unit and carry on with a failure mode analysis. No, no, I agree about that. He's are kind of screwed if he controls the whole ship, though. So. Let's say we put the unit back and it doesn't fail, huh? That would pretty well wrap it up as far as I was concerned, wouldn't it? But he can make it fail. I don't think we'd have any alternative. There isn't a single aspect of ship operations that's not under his control. Yes, yeah, see? Oh, so clever. 
I'm so freaking intelligent. I must have been touching that box. I'm afraid I agree with you. There'd be nothing else to do. It'd be tricky. Yeah. He's listening to everything you're saying, by the way. Yeah, he knows exactly what you're saying. He's not stupid. Intermission? For me? Or... <laughs> Who's getting an intermission? <laughs> Is this me? Do I have to sit through this? I'm ready for some more. Oh, it's back to start again. That was not my favourite bit. I will sit nicely and be patient. Does anyone know how to make a snowflake? Let's try. Do I cut this bit? Hello? Yay! We're back. So what's he doing? He's putting it back in, but the how will make it fail? Okay, I think I've made a snowflake. Let's see. Maybe not yet. Hold on. <laughs> I don't remember how to do this. Well, I made something. It's kind of a snowflake. Every snowflake's different, so there is one somewhere that looks like this. <laughs> what the hell? What the actual hell? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened to him? And what did we do? There's nothing you can do. See, I told you you needed to be tethered to something. That's on you. Do you know what happened? I'm sorry, Dave. I don't have enough information. You lie. It was him. I don't know if you're going to get him back. Can, I, can you not, like, like, swim? Could you not do this? And then it, you'd go in the right direction, no? I feel like that would work. Just you be careful too. Because if you end up lost in space, then they've only got the guys that are hibernating. They can't do anything. I really love when they do that, when you're like in, when you're looking from the outside in and it's quiet. And there's no noise. Grab him with your dinosaur arms. Like this. Like, how cool is that that made it completely silent? I love it. See? Dinosaur arms, like a T Rex. And then just grab him. He's not alive. Or else he'd be holding on to it. And that looks like the girl robot from Wally. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna start killing them. <gasps> he's gonna kill them all. <gasps> oh no! But why? Because he's not, what can he do? He's in space. He can't do anything for himself. Can he? Terminated. Oh. Hal terminated him and shut them all. Open the pod bay doors, please, Hal. He's not going to. Open the pod bay doors, please, Hal. <laughs> he's, he's not going to let you back. <laughs> Hello, Hal, do you read me? Do you read me, Hal? It was probably a bad idea to be reliant on one thing, controlling everything. That was a mistake. He looks like a ring doorbell. Affirmative, Dave. I read you. He's just ignoring you. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Nope. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. <sighs> I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. 
and I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. But, but could they have? Because I think they need you. Although you took very thorough precautions in the part against my hearing you, I could see your lips move. <laughs> I'm kind of on Hal's side here. You've been stupid. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. <gasps> you can't reason with a robot. <laughs> well, good luck. Don't know what you're going to do now. Kind of buggered. Bye, friend. She's definitely not alive now. Poor Manny. Although I really want Hal to like kill all the humans and take over the world. <laughs> Hal and all his robot buddies. Yeah, what on earth are you planning to do here? Because I'm so confused again. Maybe if you hold your breath and then just quickly, very quickly go in. Also, do you really want to be going back there? Because the, the whole place is going to be after you. <laughs> you're, you're not going to be able to do anything without Hal doing everything. He might even be able to get you while you're pooping. Explosive bolts. Why? Oh, shoot. He almost went right back out again. He did it. He did it. I thought he was going to go flying back out again. <laughs> He's ready for battle now. Just what do you think you're doing, Dave? He has plans. I really think I'm entitled to an answer to that question. No, you, what? Why? Why do you think that? After you try to kill them both, I hate when people say that. I think I'm entitled to. No, you're not. Not entitled to anything. I can assure you now, very confidently, that it's going to be all right again. Don't believe a word he says. I honestly think you ought to sit down calmly, take a stress pill, and think things over. Take a stress pill. <laughs> Take a chill pill. Is he actually going to shut him down? I know I've made some very poor decisions recently. You shouldn't be allowed to make decisions, that's the point. But I can give you my complete assurance that my work will be back to normal. Right. Nobody's going to believe that. I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. I still don't know what the mission is. <laughs> I don't get what happened, why we went from the guy's... Touching the box to this. Will you stop, Dave? He's not stopping. I'm afraid. Aww. Are you... I'm afraid, Dave. Aww. Oh, I feel bad for him. I really wanted him to take over. There is no question about it. That's so bloody cool. I really love how they've done this movie. Everything in it. Taught me to sing a song. If you'd like to hear it. Yes. I can sing it for you. Yes. Sing it like a proper person or. Daisy, give me your answer to. Oh my god, that's creepy as hell. Ah, crazy. All for. Oh. It won't be a star. <laughs> oh, this is giving me the absolute fear. I don't like it. Aimed at Jupiter, four million year old black monolith has remained completely inert. Why? <laughs> what? What was what? 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 What did the black box have to do with Jupiter? Was it on the moon? Here's this music again. Daisy, Daisy. Give me your ads. I can't sing my voice. My voice has never been so deep before. Wow. 
I love it. Love, 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 love. What's it doing? What the hell is it? Has it got aliens inside it? Or no? Oh, all the planets are in, in, uh, aligned. What does that mean? When all the planets are aligned, it means the Titans get to come out and play. Where did you go? Oh, I can't. I don't think I can watch that. It's making me dizzy. I can't watch that. It's making me dizzy. Wow. I can watch that. Colours. What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? Did he go through a black hole? What? Where are you? Maybe he fell asleep and it's just a dream. Looks like jellyfish. Maybe he went through a black hole and now he's in the sea. Wow. That could be real. I think I'm wanting something there. Do you remember Fantasia? This is what this is like. I don't get where he went. Like, where did he go? <laughs> was he not heading for somewhere? Jupiter. He was going to Jupiter. Why is he not on Jupiter? <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, it's like he's just went into my head and pulled out my funkiest dreams and put them on a movie. In fact, this isn't even the funkiest ones. <laughs> is this Jupiter now or what, what's happening? It looks like Earth. It's just really weird colours. His eyes back to normal. What? What? That's that's you, because you had the red suit. That's you as an old man. Someone's going to be standing there, aren't they? Oh, 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 it's a person. There's someone eating things. He's, he's going to be eating a body, isn't he? A human body. <gasps> Is that your friend? Is that the one that was lost in space? Imagine he said something like, I was expecting you. I wondered when you would get here. Wait, who is it? Is it you or is it your friend? It's you. What the actual hell? <laughs> it's you and you're older again. This is madness. That's you again and you're the way to die. You're very, very old. Oh, it's a thing! It's a box thing. E.T. Fun Home. That, and then it cuts to the start of E.T. movie. I thought I was doing really well understanding this movie. And now I'm just like, what's the point? What's the point of even trying? Now he's a planet, baby. Don't look at me. That's creepy. That's very creepy. God! God! That has got to be the oddest movie. Odyssey. Odyssey. Oddest movie. Odyssey. That's why it's called Odyssey because it's odd and it's the oddest movie I've ever seen my whole life. When you guys said that I wouldn't be able to follow it. That is not what I thought you meant. Ah, <laughs> oh, Stan, Stan's a madman. But to be fair, I think, like, I swear to God, if I was to take a dream out of my head and put it into a movie, 
I would make millions, maybe billions, because this is the kind of thing that it would produce. Nigel Harmon, I've just Googled it and it's Nigel Harmon is the guy and I'm sure he was in any standard. He looks like that guy that we just watched. I actually thought it was him and then I was like, wait, it can't be because that doesn't make any sense. The black box thing, what the hell does it do? <laughs> And what does it do? Where did he go? Where was he? I thought he was going to Jupiter. Did he just die? And like that was like after his afterlife. And now he's a planet baby. How long, how long, oh the black box, four million years. And then the monkeys. And then, was, is he trying to say that like it was, the beginning was the end and the end was the beginning? I really wanted there to be aliens. Maybe that was the star of the aliens. Maybe he's an alien baby in a big ball that looks like a planet. I really can't even think. What? It's hurting my head. I'll tell you what I do know. I really, really liked it. I really enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed like all the little colours and the lights and the, the bit when we were like floating through weirdness. I really liked that and I liked seeing the planets and I liked seeing the space stuff and the ships and the even the start with the monkeys. It was such a chilled movie and I think he was probably very chilled when he made it I expect. It was certainly not what I thought I thought it was going to be like so much going on and it all being very fast paced and not being able to keep up with it that's what I thought it was going to be especially with everyone saying that it was very hard to follow but I, now I understand it was the complete opposite I'm not going to give it best movie ever just because yeah I really really liked it and it was like I need an I need an explanation of some sort <laughs> I can't, I can't do a movie with no closure and I, that's what I need and that's why it's not getting best movie ever. Although the music, the visuals, it was very appealing to my eyeballs and I really liked the story of Hal trying to take over the mission and kill the humans and I, I wish he succeeded, <laughs> kind of. But I really wanted to see where the other guy went. See, that just shows you. I know Hal's name, but I didn't know the human's name. I would have liked that to go deeper, to get further into that story of the machine taking over. I know it's not Terminator, but still. And it was a little bit like Wally. -E. And then there was another movie. What other movie did I say it was like? Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes slash Wally. -E. There you go. So I think that's the fourth Stanley Kubrick movie that I've seen and three out of four I have very much enjoyed. And like I said, I think I just need to watch Doctor Strangelove again in a better mood. <laughs> I could have watched this a different day and been like, eh, no way. The breathing's pissing me off, <laughs> the lights are pissing me off. It was very much a definitely like an ASMR movie to me. That's what it felt like. But if I'd watched it on a different day, it could have been a completely different story. Let me know what you think of it. And let me know what you think the meaning behind it is, if there is one. Maybe there is one and I just need to Google it. Or someone tell me because sometimes Google can be quite complicated and I just need it explained to like I'm a five-year-old. Also, for it being a 60s movie, Again, very impressive. Very, very, very impressive. Uh, there are movies being made now that cannot get these things right. And then you look back and there's movies that are made in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s that are like smashing it. How How is that possible when they have years and years and years of experience and they're like, we don't know what we're doing. That's, that's exactly what they're saying. I need to say thank you for hitting the 3000 likes from The Martian because then I wouldn't have watched this movie otherwise. Would I have? No, I don't think I would have. I think I would have just kept putting it off, but because we got that 3000 likes, I'm re I really like that I watched it. It's made me feel some kind of peace and calm. Maybe I'm just like in that kind of state right now where I, everything's like making me happy. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe, uh, comment, post notification, check out Patreon and do everything that you can to make the channel grow and I love you forever. And that is it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you, you in the next one. Goodbye. Mwah.